Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a Valentine's Day get ready with me. This time I'm going to do hair, makeup, and outfit for a cute little romantic time. I feel like this look fits just any fun glam occasion. If you guys like this style of get ready with me a little bit more, just let me know and let's just get started with the makeup. My skin is the worst it's been in years. I'm also like super shiny all the time, not looking cute. I just got this idea like an hour ago, a look on what I would do to just treat myself on Valentine's Day. I love like holidays and themed makeup and stuff. I do want to go full coverage because if this was a fancy time, I would probably want to go full coverage. Last year when I'd go out and stuff, I would use the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Stay Fabulous one. It's when I was really, really pale. I also have this foundation from ColourPop that is more my shade or maybe like a slightly darker, so I might just mix the two. I'm blending that in with a beauty blender and I've never actually tried like a proper beauty blender before. I feel feels really different. It just feels like a little cloud. The coverage right now is so sheer. That is not what I was going for. I'm gonna have to build it up. I'm just getting a lot of notifications for an event that I have too much anxiety to go to, so yeah. It's still not like full, full coverage. <sighs> Maybe I'll just go in with some concealer and I'll use the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer and I just kind of put it everywhere. I was trying to buy the Makeup Revolution concealer yesterday but for some reason Ulta was glitching and wouldn't let me check out and I think that's honestly just a sign from the universe that I don't need any more makeup but then I went on Sephora and I bought something else so also the light keeps coming in and out so I'm gonna look really different throughout the whole video and actually I have my contacts in today so I can kind of see what I'm doing I was looking back on old videos of myself and my skin was literally flawless last year and I just really did not deserve to be brought back to life like this and humbled with all this acne okay well last year my skin was flawless flawless but definitely clearer than it is now i'm gonna put a little bit of a really really light concealer just right under my eyes because they're just never bright enough for my liking just to highlight and brighten all right solid and now because it's a special occasion type of day i'm gonna take my loose powder i'm going to bake because i for once i've been watching makeup videos recently i never watch makeup tutorials nor do i buy makeup but it's been a weird time for me and obviously everybody in the youtube community bakes like every day and I never bake. I don't know, it just seems so excessive. <laughs> I'm literally ingesting everything. If I were to bake, I would definitely bake my nose too. That's what people usually do, but I didn't actually contour it, so it's kind of pointless. So basically I just baked my whole face. <laughs> also, I don't normally keep it on for that long. Brush this off already. Brush this. Okay, it's made some points. And I'll leave the nose and under eye for a little bit. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use the boy brow in black. I'm usually gonna brush them a little bit up and then to the side. Big difference right there. I do the same to the other side. The front eyebrow hairs are really, really long for me. I just like to let them grow in naturally because my dad has the craziest eyebrows in the world. Each hair is like an inch long. I think as a result, I got pretty bushy brows. They look really uneven though, but oh well. I will prime my eyelids. I'm gonna use the Glossy Balm.com in Cherry. It's my favorite lip balm as of late. If you look up close, you can like see every pore that like the powder sunk into. I'm gonna just dust it off now. That is so soft. Ooh, I understand. I think I get it now. For blush, I'm gonna use the Tarte Party one. I realized today, like, I don't know how to do blush naturally. I don't know how to, like, just put it on my cheeks. I always do it all the way up to my under eyes and then put it on my nose. I think I'm also going to top it with some of this highlight I got for Christmas from Bare Minerals. It's, like, this, like, very tan color for, like, a glow. Okay. And then I guess I will highlight. I'm going to use this color pop one. I'm going to, like, top it. I want to highlight my nose really well because everybody just has like the cutest nose highlights right now. I kind of want to contour my nose a little bit. I usually just use like a really neutral beige-ish brown eyeshadow. Not really anything like too brown. And I just take it on like an ankles eyeshadow brush. I don't know. Focus it mostly right here because I feel like that's what makes it most natural. Is just to kind of deepen this part. And then from here, I just bring it down. I want to make it really natural. Not even really to change the shape of my nose, but just give my nose like dimension again. I'm going to usually just take some underneath. 
Now I will do eyeshadow. So I'm going to just use that blush. Might as well because it's going to match the look anyway. I'm going to use that as my transition. And this look isn't going to be super groundbreaking or anything. It's just what I'd probably do for Valentine's Day. This is honestly a super cute eyeshadow color. It's like peachy. So cute. Okay. And then I'm going to take like a small brush. And I wanted to use some of this color. I did a tutorial with the light purple, but I wanted to try the magenta. I'll just use that as like a deepening crease color. This magenta is also super pretty. And I'm gonna blend it out. I feel like I'm always curious about like what people think about me or like who they think I would have dated, like if they didn't know me at all or who they think my type is because every time I ask somebody if they say something different, it's just so interesting because whenever I talk to people, I'm always like, so what's your type? Because I feel like it usually surprises me. I've always wanted to do the like assumptions video, like what do you assume about me? But I just don't have enough people who assume things about me or frankly care. Um, I'm trying to find like a really glittery eyeshadow I can put on here because I want this look to become a little fun and fresh. Maybe I'll put like a little bit of cream highlight on my lid and top it with something. If you have an assumption about me in any way, DM it to me on Instagram or comment it on any of my videos because I just think they're really interesting. I'm gonna put this like really glittery eyeshadow on top from Smashbox. It's a little bit too gold, so I'm gonna add some blush on top. Now I'm going to repeat everything on the lower lashes. I usually like to feather it out near the transition color. This brush is so rough and I only use it because it's my only pencil brush, but it's so <laughs> scratchy. A little bit of the magenta. I always use cottage cheese for my corners. Again, the same routine as like every other makeup look I've done. And to highlight, I'm gonna take Vermeer. For eyeliner, I don't wanna do anything too harsh. So I think I'm just going to line with some black eyeshadow. With like a smoky, smudgy kind of eyeliner. And I'm gonna, again, try not to put too much on so it doesn't cover the look. I'm just gonna kind of go up to where the line folds over because on mono lids, like, this whole thing kind of like disappears. So I'm only just gonna like darken up that bit and not really try to go any further. Eyeliner does the most for me. My card was full and my camera died, but anyways. And then I'm going to pop them some lashes. I got these Ardell foamy lashes and the first day I wore them out, I got so many compliments from my friends and I didn't even know they could like see my lashes because I was wearing glasses, but I guess they look nice. They're definitely really different from the rest of ones that I usually wear, like they're very full. Yeah, they're super thick and long. I feel like I've reached like full ABG with these lashes. When I wear thick lashes, it creates a double eyelid. So it makes my eyes look even bigger because it's pushing my eyes open. And this is all monolid. If you can see that, like you can see the big ass crease it's making and there's no crease on this side. That's why lashes really make or break a person. And that's why I don't really use lashes that often because I'm just like too powerful. I feel like I already look different with makeup on. And once I put lashes on, I look so different. I don't like looking different from my natural face as much as possible. I feel like I'm deceiving people even though that's not really the case. I'm not used to such thick lashes though. For me, I usually like the really wispy smaller ones. I'm gonna do some lower lash mascara. I'm gonna use my Lash Paradise for some really voluminous bottom lashes. I know a lot of people don't like bottom lash mascara, but for me, it's so important to like open my eyes. My upper lashes are kind of useless. You literally can't see them at all when I curl them. So I give myself like the illusion of mascara with just lower lashes. All right, I guess the last thing to do is lips. For this look, I'm obviously gonna do gloss because who would I be without my gloss? But today, I'm gonna put a little bit of lip liner on, just to make my lips look fuller for the day, you know? I think I have kind of weirdly shaped lips. They're really, really small. 
I'm going to lightly fold them in and I still have the residue of the bomb.com It makes it easier to apply I'm just going to make it slightly fuller at the bottom and keep the sides the same and then the same for the top. This is my favorite lip liner because I feel like a lot of lip colors don't really look good, but this is NYX and Mauve, and then gloss on top. And this is plumping, so it's gonna make your lips even fuller looking. It's gonna start plumping and stinging a little bit. For those of us with small lips, the tingling is worth it. That's the makeup. And then go ahead and spray it with some setting spray so that it does not budge. Throughout the night, the festivities, I mean, I'm not doing anything, but and then I will show you guys how I do my hair and what I wore. So for hair, I'm gonna keep it really natural. What I usually do is just take a straightener and first take my bangs. I never like fully mentioned that I got these. I got them like mid-November. I'm just gonna straighten them back. And then I'll usually just take a few sections and just kind of slightly wave them. I usually just do a few pieces to give like a curled effect. If I was actually going out somewhere really nice, then I would obviously like properly do it, but this is like overall what I do. And on the other side. I'm not going to do a good job because I'm really lazy and I'm not actually going somewhere, but this is the overall look very half-assed job but what can i say i look really old why do i look anyways it's fine enjoyed this little video and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Clothing brand, it may have been to the point there was dresses in a response in which she gave their influence who's gonna suffer the flat.